Hey guys and welcome to another Spectrum video and uh, we're going to take a look at a game called Micronaut 1 published in 1987 by Nexus Productions. And this is a game I really rather loved back in the day and I uh, got reminded of it when I was checking out a video over at Lawn Boy's post 1975's YouTube channel. He made a video about it and I realized that I kind of forgotten about the game so I thought I gotta make a video about it and check it out again. And by the way, if you haven't checked out Lawn Boy's post 1975's channel, by all means do so. He uh, uploads quite a lot of specky videos, I will put a link in the description. And I remember I got Micronaut 1 for free on a crash cover tape in 1989 and uh, by this point I already had my Atari ST so I wasn't using my Spectrum that much but I really did enjoy this game and I remember playing it quite a lot. And the game is designed by Pete Cook who made many other cool games on the Specky, usually uh, kind of 3D or semi 3D games. And he really made a couple of classics like Tau Ceti and Academy. And he was also responsible for the uh, conversion of Stunned Car Racer to the Specky. So a pretty awesome coder and designer this guy. And before we dive in, if you like my YouTube videos, please consider supporting me on Patreon or on Ko-Fi. Links are in the description. Thanks! Now we have a pretty minimalistic uh, loading screen here by Ian Ellery, I believe. I'm not entirely sure, but I think he made this one and I don't know much about that guy, but yeah, it's a simple but a pretty nice looking logo. And we've got this pretty cool looking menu screen. It works a bit like, uh, you know, an old Mac, I suppose. You can press, hopefully, yeah, press N to activate these menus, drop down menus. And I think uh, Pete used this in some other games as well. So I'm just going to go and set up some, uh, some keys here. Yeah, that looks uh, like it might work. Okay, let's just check set up what that does. Oh yeah, there's a, we can do a race game variant as well here. And we can change colors. Oh, this looks pretty cool. <laughs> ah, neat. Ah, I like this. All right, I'm ready. Let's play. Oh yeah, we've got some stuff. We can check out the maps and the map and search here as well. Ah, oh, yeah, I mm, yeah, I don't really remember exactly. I think we have ways of putting up markers and such. We can navigate a bit more easily. I did check the manual for this, but yeah, it wasn't super clear. It was just basically a text document and uh, yeah. Oh, we've got a notepad. Cool. <laughs> yeah, that's I like this. I like this. What else is there? Biocomputer. Biocomputers are a fusion of electronic and biological life forms. Yeah, I think we're kind of inside a huge brain that we need to, uh, uh, you know, help out somehow. Um, and we've got these evil things that's inside the brain together, you know, with us, and we need to destroy them. Uh, this is the scrim. They look a bit like a mushroom that's gone rogue. Let's check the other enemies. Eggs. These will hatch into scrim. That much I remember from the manual. And then these little cuties. They look like, uh, yeah, three balls with a butt attached to it. So, yeah, but they're kind of cute, aren't they? They will crawl around the tunnels and uh, feed and then they will turn into an adult jellyfly, which is this thing here. So yeah, that's basically all of the enemies in the game, I think. Uh, don't remember what this does. I don't even remember the manual mentioning this. I have a feeling this is going to be a little bit messy here. I might not fully comprehend how this game works, but we're just going to fly about and destroy stuff and see what happens. But this is what I thought was so damn cool. I mean, look at this 3D on a Spectrum. <laughs> it's pretty damn awesome. And the game runs fairly smooth and you can fly pretty damn fast here. So let's just speed up here and maybe not hit stuff. Oh dear. <laughs> These are security droids, I believe. They will just get in your way and be annoying. So, oh, get away from me. What, what, what is your problem, mate? Leave me alone. Have I destroyed something because the controls are a bit wonky here? Oh, there's an egg, I believe. We can't destroy it, I think, because... Oh, Jesus, what the hell? What? Um, Not sure what happened there. But let's just turn around and see if we can sap the egg. Let's go a little bit closer. I don't think we can destroy them. Nah, 
Too bad, and I'm using up my energy. That's dumb, because I thought the energy would actually refill itself. It doesn't! I need to find... Oh, dear God. Not sure what's going on there. The egg is not good for me. Too much cholesterol, I guess. Oh, I don't know what that was. Oh, yeah, we have these. I remember these. You can actually... Yeah, there's like obstacles that move. and You have to sneak past them. Yeah, I was just immediately fascinated by this game back in the day. It just looked cool and ran pretty smooth. I mean, by today's standards, it's a bit naff. I mean, it's not great. Let's see if we can sap that thing. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Turn around. Oh, there's another one. Let's see if we can sap this. Uh, not sure if that was successful or not. I'm not sure what that is. Is that a Christmas tree? Really don't know. Oh shit, it's not good for me, again. Heavy on the cholesterol, perhaps. What is a little bit funky is that you can't spin around completely. You can't just like turn left or right. Oh, there's an umbrella. Go for it, get it. And there's a worm, you filthy worm. The graphics were pretty cool back in the day. Oh, he's turning around. He's running away, you filthy, sneaky worm filth. Come on. I think you're supposed to be able to kill these. Surely we must be able to do that. Okay. I'm not entirely successful. Yeah, again, I did read the manual, but yeah, it wasn't super clear, as, as was often the case. Oh, God. I am now all out of energy. And... Uh, did that worm just explode? Well, I hope so, anyway. Oh, no! Okay, okay. These things wouldn't by any chance give me energy. I don't think so. The Christmas tree is there, right? No, they probably just destroy me. That's bad for... Come on, li leave me alone. I'm not... Don't, don't be a prick. Ugh. Jeez. Ah, oh, yes. This is the Eye of the All-Seeing Emperor. I'm not sure what to do with this guy. If he helps me out or he just spies on me. Like Google. Yeah, to turn around you need to slow down, stop completely, and then press back backwards again, and then you can go the other direction, which is kind of clunky, but, I mean, yeah, I still thought this was so awesome. Even having an ST, I really, really enjoyed this game and played it a lot. There's something about it. And, yeah, it may not have aged that well. I mean, the frame rate is... Maybe not as amazing as it was back in the day, but as you can see, there's a pretty good feeling to it. Oh, shit. Here's, oh, oh, God, there's a web there. Um, webs are bad. Mm hmm Okay. Because they will prevent you progressing. I think we can sap them. Maybe? Ah, oh, and I'm out of energy again. This is sad. And there's another... Yeah, this is going to be the web in Sector 52. How, how do I get to the map? I don't know. Maybe break? Yeah, cool. Let's see. Let's check the map. 56, so we are somewhere around here. This should be where I'm at right now. Hmm. Interesting. Still no energy, and this web is forming. And as it completes, uh, I this, this is going to be blocked, which is going to, you know, screw me over, because I can't continue... Oh, has energy. That's nice. Let's destroy this thing. Yeah, I'm being reasonably successful. And I think that disgusting worm has moved away because yeah, I think he was actually constructing this web. I don't think they will build themselves. And that's an egg. That's nasty. It's a filthy lava inside. Oh, it seems like it's building itself. That's not good. And there's this thing again, whatever the hell it is. Maybe that was energy. All right, let's see if we can... Please, die. Yes! Gotcha! And I'm not sure what those bunch of pixels do. If it's like energy, rogue energy that I can collect. I did play it a little bit beforehand, before I started recording, but as you can clearly see... Um, yeah, I think that's energy. I don't really know too much. 
about the game. It's it's really quite simple, but there's uh, certainly also room to get lost here. <laughs> and the gameplay is super... S oh god, there's another web. Why wasn't I informed about this? Can I destroy this? I don't think I can. Nope. Nope. Don't think I can. So this is bad. And if you can't get to a certain section because there's a web in the way, I think you are screwed pretty much. Get, 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 get the... Oh, hello, hello, hello. Eat, eat energy. Yeah, they're pretty tough, the lava. Or the worms or whatever they are. They don't care about me shooting stuff at them. Okay, here's, here's a filthy worm. And there's the uh, Emperor Google. Mm, still don't know what to do with that guy. And you can also increase your height or indeed decrease it by pressing two buttons here as well. I'm not sure. Oh shit. D oh, damn. I got attacked by an umbrella. That always feels pretty embarrassing. Let's go chase after the damn thing. Yeah, I don't know if it's important to um, adjust your height. Hello. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, he, he's not interested in taking any damage. Another web in sector 124. I think I'm losing this game. Are you waiting to get released? Come on, come on. Why is... Yeah, oh god. Oh man, oh man. Yeah, I don't really know what I'm doing. If that isn't clearly obvious. <laughs> Yeah, I think this is pretty much what there is to the game. Again, pretty simple, but also, yeah, cool stuff. At the time, at least. It may not have aged that well. Let's see if we can... Oh, God, leave me be! Let's see if I can destroy this web. Yep, think that worked. And a security droid. You useless thing. Oh, no, the web is still there. Can I use my last remaining energy? It's kind of hard to see if you're actually hitting something. All right, no more energy, so we're just going to go and grab some here. And maybe we can just turn back and annihilate the web. Oh, stop it, you cone bastard. Okay, careful, careful. Get very close and then sap the damn thing. No, I don't know if I'm too far away or, or what. I can't really recall how the game worked when I played it back in the day, as you can see. But, yeah, I do remember playing it a great deal. It's kind of one of the last games I ever played uh, regularly on my specy before I kind of turned my attention completely to my ST. Uh, I think we're being webbed in. I think we are pretty much screwed. I probably won't be playing this for very long because, yeah, I think you've seen all there is. It doesn't get more exciting than this, but it, again, it was a lot of fun back in the day. Of course, much thanks to the uh, pretty damn cool graphics. Oh, it's you again. Maybe there's more than one eye. I don't know. Give me the energy, baby. Nope. Oh, uh, oh God. Uh, please, please. Turn around, turn around. I'm going to try and sap you. Yeah, not much success there. The worms don't give a crap about me, even when I sap them with high voltage here. And now I'm out of energy again. ETU2 danger. Yeah, you know what, guys? I think I'm going to call it quits because I don't really know what I'm doing here and I'm not being very successful with what I am actually doing. So, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this quick peek at Micronaut 1. And before we end... We're going to have a look at a couple of reviews of the game. I think most magazines were pretty impressed by the game back in the day. And Sinclair User gave the game 10 out of 10 and also awarded it an uh, Sinclair User Classic. And they write, Brilliant 3D graphics and gameplay. You may take a while to understand it, but in the end, you'll be hooked. Your Sinclair felt that the game was maybe a little bit too difficult and only gave it 8 out of 10. And they write, Fast maze and shooting game with incredible graphics and a great plot, but rather too difficult for comfort. 
so uh, yeah, I can definitely agree with the uh, reviews, especially at the time. And I would consider this to be a bit of a specky classic. Maybe could have aged a little better, but maybe if I'd uh, understood the game a bit better, I could maybe had fun with it today as well. But yeah, I just mostly <laughs> got lost. So uh, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy this video and uh, hope to catch you in the next one.